Yeah, I think they are. This is they, something. They asked them to walk barefoot from wherever they are because they really want to, them to show fealty to them. What? So the Red Sox took the march, and um, Tom Werner, one of the uh, owners, but not John Henry, the main owner, uh, he went, the GM went, the manager went. Uh, they met for three hours. And this is what shocks me, guys. It was leaked out um, of the meeting that it went very well. Uh-oh. That Soto was impressed. Yeah, it went very well. How do they know he was impressed? Did he say, wow, I'm impressed? Well, I mean, I, I'm assuming that the leaking is coming from Soto's side. So if you happen to say, you know, we're, <laughs> Juan was really impressed by the Red Sox presentation. Well, that, that means the Yankees are supposed to wet their pants. And maybe, uh, maybe the Mets wet their pants and, and put another zero on the, on the check. I, listen, I, you guys know I love baseball. I, I, I am so tired of this, this, this ridiculous theater that's going to well, be going on for the next couple of weeks. He's impressed by the Red Sox. You, you know what's going to impress him? If they offer more money than anybody else. The, how, how did they impress right. him in that three-hour meeting? What was said in the three-hour meeting? Because I don't know what they're selling. I, 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 what is he asking? I, if, if I knew that, then maybe we could have some fun and talk about it. Like, is he checking out the schools? Is he checking out the neighborhood? Is he asking, all right, can, can I take a look at the scouting reports of all your minor league players to see if you guys are going to be competitive after I sign this contract? Like, if I knew all that, I'd say, all right, maybe we can find some answers to that. But I, I don't know, is it a dog and pony show? Or is he asking some, like, legitimate questions that are actually going to forward some information here? I think, I think that he and Boris are asking legitimate questions. But I think that everything takes a distinctly distant backseat to how much money. So we keep hearing that, you know, winning is, is really important to him. And I'm going to say something. I'll probably get a, a call from Scott Boris at 631. All right. What's the worst team in baseball? Well, would you, well, let, let's say the Marlins, just for argument's sake. Well, right? White Sox, but yeah. Oh, the White Sox. I mean, that's even better. The White Sox. Jerry Reinsdorf says, you know what? I'm going to shake the world up here. I'm going to offer him $75 million a year for 10 years to play for the worst team in baseball history. And the next closest is Steve Cohen, who offers $60 million a year for 10 years. Where do you think he's going? Where do you think he's going? To the highest bidder. He's going to, he, go, to, he's going to go to the White Sox. Go $75 White Sox. million dollars but- a year. But this is the game. He, the White Sox aren't going to make a pitch. Like, well, the Rays are. Rays are supposed to be involved. Now, the Rays aren't the worst team in baseball, but you can't tell me you're signing with the Rays because you got a chance to win every year. They've been, uh, they've been competitive, and I think that they've done uh, better than people have expected, but there's no way you can tell me you're going to sign with the Rays, Michael, because we believe they're going to be competitive every year and compete for a World Series. Well, they do have an advantage because he's very familiar with their home ballpark from last spring training. That's it. Yeah. Uh, you know, somebody brought this up. Uh, I didn't, I'm surprised that, that none of us thought about it. What if for some reason the Rays make a, make a run to the World Series? Yeah, the World Series have 11,000 people. Maybe, you, you can't do that. I'm surprised. That, I, I guess because they want to keep their footprint and their fans involved. But isn't the obvious play to, to have the Marlins and them split that stadium? It's still in Florida. I know it's far from Tampa. It's not drivable. Well, it. I mean, nobody would go, and it, but it would be like they're playing at home anyway. But God, that would be just embarrassing. If and, you had, and, uh, you ima- imagine you had a uh, a league championship series, A's Rays, <laughs> and both games are both games in the series are played in minor league ball. And also, it's it's not it's not inconceivable. The Rays are good. The Rays are always good. Uh, so they, they're, they're, there might be playoff games played at Steinbrenner Field. But, but to, to your point, Michael, that's not a scenario that's going to happen, right? Everybody that's in it is going to be a really competitive team. So it's really going to the highest bidder. We all know that. But Boris doesn't want people to think it's only about the money. Soto doesn't want people to think it's only about the money. But we know it's only about the money. I, but I, no, but I, the only way, the only tiebreaker is if the money's equal. Right. And then right. you're going to pick the, the team that gives you I know. The, the best chance to win or put the best plan forward. No, but we know that. 
But they don't want you to think that. But what, are we dumb? No, I understand that, Michael, but you know how dumb we are or, or how dumb they think we are? When Soto signs at the press conference and he's asked, why did you sign with Team X? Do you think he's going to say because they pay me the most money? No. No, he's not going to say that. He's going to say, I, I love this city. I love. I, I met with the manager and the general manager, and I loved how they were all about it. They're going to they're gonna lie to you. So, of course, right now, they're going to try to set this whole perception that money is only a part of the process. And that's why they're doing all this. It's all just for optics. We all know it's just about money. But if you would just take phone calls and didn't meet with anybody, that would just further confirm that it's all about the money. This is a dog and pony show to try to prove that it's not just about the money. What I what I would want to do on this show, you know, we want to educate and also entertain. Mm-hmm. E squared. That's that's our plan every day. <laughs> okay. And what I'm telling you is this: this is how it goes down. Red Sox meet with them. And it's it's leaked to the Boston Glo- uh, no no it was leaked to a Boston website that Soto was really impressed and went very well so that's got to come from that camp so they're just they're they're, they're playing games they're playing games with us and with the other teams to make the Yankees but, get nervous wow if we but, lose them to the Red Sox uh, and let me tell you one thing about the Red Sox okay. Because they're cheap the last four years, and I guess they have the right to be cheap because they've won four championships since the last time. Um, well, they've, they've won four championships since 2004. Mm-hmm. And so that, get, that gives them some latitude. But they're so cheap, they let Mookie Betts go. They let Xander Bogarts go. And now you're going to convince me that the Red Sox have found religion and they're going to drop fifty, at least $50 million a year in the lap of Juan Soto. I want to see it. Yeah, I want course. to convince but, me they've been cheap for the last three years. They refused to spend money, refused. And now they're going after Juan Soto again. Maybe yeah. they get him. I, I need to be convinced on. But you seem surprised that this is all happening. No, not surprised. Kind of disgusted. You're disgusted by it. And, you know, it's all about the money. We all know it's about the money. But and obviously these teams know it's all about the money. So. Why would they be scared off by a report that he liked the Red Sox? If we all know it's about the money, all you need to know as another team is what do the Red Sox offer? And then and, and you go go above it. Like So why would you even blink if you heard, oh, he really fell in love with the Red Sox. That meeting really went well. If it's really just all about the money, Michael, then, then why are you concerned? What did they offer? That's the only information that I should be able to care about. But they're just going through the motions because they think that they might be able to fool some people that it's not just about the money. He's going to fall in love with the history of Fenway Park. He's going to fall in love with the schools. I mean, give me a break. It's, it's, it's all about the money, but they're still going through it, Michael, as if they're going to fool somebody. But, uh, but I, I think some of the leaking, though, is also to get other teams nervous. And I just don't know how it works. I'm glad that I, I don't do that for a living because you know Scott is so good at what he does. Like, what if he goes to the Yankees and said, well, I ha- I'm not going to tell you the teams, but I have two teams that are offering $50 million a year for 12 years. How could Hal check that out? How, how does he know? Because the owners can't converse with each other. It would be collusion. So, I mean, you've got to trust that Scott's telling you the absolute truth or you could call his bluff. I-, I don't know how that works. I mean, again, he- whenever Scott a has a big client, it's, Oh, there's it's, a secret team out there. It, well, how do you know what people are offering? I it, guess the only thing that you could do is say, this is what we think he's worth, and this is what we're offering. I don't care what anybody else is offering. Yeah, but, but, but why would they be scared off about the leaks of information that has anything but money to do with it, right? So if, if, if it's about how well he liked it, just, tell, just find out how much he offered. But it is amazing that Boris is allowed to do that, and Soto's allowed to do that. But the owners can't. But the owners, God forbid, if they say we, we're not interested, they, they get fined. Like, it's, it's really um, it's amazing how much it is weighed towards the players. And nobody's going to feel bad for the billionaire owners, but it doesn't seem to be fairly equal. Like if, if Brian Cashman says, no, we're not interested, we got enough outfielders, he's going to get in trouble. But yet Boris can go and lie and say, oh, the Mets are offering $60 million. You've got to pay us 70 uh, and, 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 they, and the owners can't talk to each other. It just, it, it just it's really a ridiculous business. It really is. one 800 919